Positioned on the edge of a new frontier, it's called Deep Space Nine, and it's commanded by a team of Starfleet officers, including First Officer Major Kira Norris, a Bajoran woman whose passion is the culture, spirituality, hey, and history of her people. Didn't you play make-believe when you were a child? Yeah, I used to make believe the Cardassians would stop killing the Bajorans and just go away. I'm sorry, I didn't mean oh, to. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I guess I never had much use for my imagination. And joining us now, actress Nana Visitor, who plays Major Kira on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I have to ask you about your name, Nana. It's so interesting. It's what my parents named me. That's it. I, it's not short for anything. It means different things in every culture. I kind of like, um, in parts of Africa, it means queen. So I kind of like that one. That's a good one. In <laughs> it, Italian, uh, the Italian grandma is usually called Nana. Right. So yeah, I run the gamut with my name. <laughs> how'd you, how'd you land the role? Two five-minute auditions. I went in for the producers, did the scene, left. They said, come and do that for Paramount. I did, it was, a, it was the quickest. I've done guest stars where I had to audition yeah. more. It was very quick. I was very sure that I was Major Kira, and it seemed that they were too, and that was that. And this is the fourth season. It's, it's remarkable. Are you surprised by the success of the show? Uh, the only time I was surprised is when I saw the, the first show, the finished product of the pilot, because we were working so hard. It was like building a car, you know, and you're just making steering wheels and you just, it's, you just do it, you're so involved. Mm -hmm. But then I saw that we made you know, a Bentley, you know, and I was <laughs> very impressed and it, so proud to be a part of it. There is deepness in your character because you're really talking about intolerance, you're kind of talking about racism, you're talking about the Absolutely. very things that affect us here on Earth, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. And what makes me different from someone else on the station, just actually a little, prosthetic on my nose. So that's very telling. It's, it's skin deep, all the differences. Well, what is it like acting with, a, with an appliance like that on your, I mean, did, I assume that's the first time you've done it. That, it is the first time I've worn prosthetics. Yeah. That's not what's so weird. What's so weird is working with other people in prosthetics. Oh, that's because Rene Aubergenois, I've worked with him for four years. I've rarely seen him out of makeup. In makeup, we have very, you know, heartfelt conversations. We share so much. But when he's out of makeup, it's like I don't know him. I don't know who this person is because he doesn't have his rubber on. <laughs> <laughs> so you take a whole different uh, tag with people when they're in makeup. And I'm sure they do with me, too. Well, oh. you have a bright future. Thank no question you. about it. Just sitting here Thank talking you. to you, feeling it. I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Oh, glad Thanks. to be here.